tune in, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I promise you will not be disappointed. If you're already a subscriber, I appreciate it. Oh, I keep forgetting to tell y'all this. If you're already a subscriber, click the notifications button, which I think is like a little bell. So you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. So before I get into the video, I really just want to say thank you to everybody who left nice comments regarding the death of my grandmother. I really appreciate it. I was like off from work for a week, off from social media, everything. And I'll be honest, I actually missed it. Even though I've only been on YouTube for two months, I really missed, you know, I think I missed the interaction that I get from y'all, like regarding the videos that I post, if y'all have questions and stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited to be back. And a lot of people have been requesting that I do a wash and go. So let me say this. I don't do wash and goes that often because I really don't like my shrinkage. Like other naturals like really like their shrinkage and stuff like that. But I kind of sort of don't with my wash and goes. Usually when I wash my hair, I'll do a twist out and it'll stretch a little bit, but it's still not just like real long, but it's longer than this. But I mean, hopefully y'all can tell like these curls are extremely, extremely tight. Now it's full, like, you know, I like the fullness of it, but as far as the shrinkage and the really, really, really tight curls, I ain't really my cup of tea, but I did it for y'all. I actually like the way it looks, so maybe I can start wearing wash and goes a little bit more. I don't know, we'll see. I'm still kind of like the twist out chick, but um, we'll see. So in my wash and go video, the only two products that I left in my hair was my meal organics leave-in conditioner and some eco styler gel and that was it the video is not long if you're interested to see my washing up video then stay tuned if you like the video give it a thumbs up and comment below other videos that you want me to do in the future again i'm so excited to be back interacting with you guys and posting videos okay so i just used my shea moisture conditioner oh i'm sorry my shea moisture shampoo and thoroughly shampooed my hair and so now I'm just gonna section it off and detangle so the detangler that I'm using well the conditioner that I'm using to detangle my hair is also by Shea Moisture and so I'm just gonna put it all over and comb through again you know, you know when we comb through we start at the bottom and then work our way to the top making sure that the hair is thoroughly detangled so this is the finished product after I have combed all of the conditioner through my hair so since I'm done with detangling, I'm just going to get my hair and put it back in a bun and then go back to the sink and rinse out the conditioner. So here I am with a t-shirt to dry my hair instead of using a towel because sometimes towels frizz. So I've already sectioned my hair. I'm spraying my leave-in conditioner by Meal Organics. And after I do my leave-in, I am again going to comb through my hair because my hair gets extremely tangled and I just like to make sure that all of my hair is saturated with the leave-in conditioner just to make sure that the hair, all of the hair is getting some of the product on it. So again, I'm just going to detangle my hair with the leave-in conditioner on it. After I'm done with the leave-in conditioner, I then section my hair into a smaller section to get ready for the Eco Styler Gel. The Eco Styler Gel that I used in this video was the one that comes in the clear container and it's called Crystal. So what you want to do is rub a little of the Eco Styler Gel in your hand and put it almost every possible strand of hair that you can. You want to make sure that all the strands have a little bit of the Eco Styler Gel on it as opposed to just putting a lot of it in your hand and rubbing it on one large section. So you really wanna take your time and go through and saturate as much hair as you can with the Eco Styler Gel in order to get the best payoff and the best definition for your hair.
once I'm done putting the Eco Styler Gel all over my hair, I'm going to get my diffuser so that I can help with the drying process because in order to get my hair dry, I've already told you guys, it takes forever and a day. So this is the finished look. Very, very defined curls, light, fluffy. I love it. It's not like hard. Um, and crunchy or anything like that. I really really like the way my curls look And this is day four hair so look how big it is it's really light it's fluffy you can see the curls are still very very defined I actually love it it just seems like each day it kept getting bigger and bigger so this is my wash and go routine I hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time I'll talk to you later bye